Good morning. This is J the Jocelyn Center. I am Benedict, and this is a second session in the teaching on meditation. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you again the simple card that is helpful if you don't know how to meditate. If you have your own way, I keep, encourage you to keep on with what works for you. But if you don't have any way, here is a simple four-word beginning. Breathe with your word. The breathing, as I told you, is getting down to the fundamentals of your humanness in life. And the word is what connects you to the higher power according to any religion that you practice or if you don't practice any religion, this will help you to meditate. And why, you might ask, are we bothering with meditation? Because meditation will help you discover all of yourself, your body with its pleasures and its pain, your mind, which is a wonderful computer, but sometimes it gets very anxious and troubled and overwhelmed, and your spirit or your soul, which is a doorway built into you like your breathing. The soul is a doorway to the ultimate one that you believe in. Now, if you don't believe in the ultimate one, that's all right. We just meditate and meditate and meditate every day for a few minutes, and gradually you begin to sense there is an ultimate one. But we don't talk religion in these sessions, but I warn you that if you keep meditating, you'll discover many layers of yourself and some mysterious sense there is one who wants to share your life and guide you. So that's an explanation. Now, if you did the first session, you may have done some of that meditation and you may wonder, ooh, I don't know how to do this. I, I'm no good at this. I'm not spiritual. Those are normal questions, but you don't have to accuse yourself or blame yourself or feel powerless. Just keep on meditating because you will discover layers and layers and layers of the mystery of yourself and the mystery of the higher power. One particular problem that all people have is that the busy mind, which has been educated by the world to be sensitive, and you get like Velcro, you get stuck on all the issues of the world. So that busy mind is going to come into your meditation and it's going to wonder, why are you wasting time? You don't argue with your mind. You don't fight your mind. You don't try to control your mind. You just float and say, that's okay, mind. I appreciate you, but you are not able to teach me about my calm inner center. You don't un understand that, but we're going to learn together. So that's a practical problem that most people have. So now I'm going to take you into an actual meditation. I'm going to ring a bell and we'll do a few moments of silence. And in that silence, you might hear your body, your mind, even your soul complaining, wondering. That's all right. It's all very normal. Just keep on meditating. Keep on breathing. Keep on touching your word. And slowly, slowly, maybe many weeks, 
even months, you begin to sense that there's a secret inner part of yourself where you can be calm, you can be at peace, you can realize it's great to be alive. Then you can come out into the world and you'll be better prepared to handle the chaos of the world. So let's go into silence and spend a few moments and then I'll ring a bell and a few words of closing. We'll come out of the silence, and that was only a few minutes, but I recommend that you try that. If you have your own way of devotions, you could add this to your devotions. If you don't have a way, I recommend that you take a few moments in the day and just breathe and touch your word. You could even take it into your daily life and where you bump into the world and it stops you and it blames you and it argues with you and tells you what to do you could step back for a moment and breathe and touch your world and you will find that you are stronger than the world so i recommend you try that daily now we're in an intense moment in America and really around the world. We're voting. So I recommend not only do you vote politically, but you vote for yourself. Give yourself a chance for a larger life. And if you vote for yourself, you will find yourself doing something like meditation, prayer, sitting in silence, something to take you out of the chaos. So I encourage you to vote for yourself. And maybe if you find these sessions helpful and you tell Rebecca, maybe we'll meet again. I would like to take you deeper into meditation. Thank you.